Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Are you afraid of what others may think of you? Do you worry about whether people find you likable or not? Perhaps you've tried to dress nicer, or you've tried searching online for the newest trend to follow so others would like you more. Whatever the case, everyone has struggled with self-confidence before, and it's quite normal to want to find and explore ways to boost up how others see you. After all, becoming a more likable person can help you build stronger interpersonal relationships and help you give better and more memorable first impressions. So here are seven things that would make people like you more. Number one, ask questions. Are you the type who likes to ask questions or do you remain quiet a lot of the time? Well, it turns out that asking questions can make you more likable because people tend to gravitate towards those who need help. Additionally, it's also a great way to start conversations with others and to break the ice with people you've just met. But remember not to overdo it with the questions, like to ask the same question again and again, or to ask about something you already know the answer to, since you may end up coming across as a little irritating. Number two, give your time without expecting something in return. Have you ever had a friend who only spends time with you when they need something? Perhaps they only call you whenever they need to ask you for a favor. People like this can come across as self-centered and manipulative because they'll only give to those who can give them something in return. So when you invest time into people without expecting anything in return, you'll come across as more honest and genuine, which will make people automatically like you more. Number three, show your flaws from time to time. Do you feel closer to people who make mistakes as opposed to those who do everything perfectly? People who show their flaws are more likable because it makes them more relatable. When you admit and show your flaws and imperfections, other people can feel more comfortable around you, knowing that they can relate to you and your situation. Also, it can give them a sense of trust since you're letting them see both the good and the bad of yourself. Number four, display positive emotions as much as you can. Have you ever noticed how the happiest person in a room can always make those around them laugh and smile? Emotional contagion happens when you mimic the emotions and expressions of the people around you, usually without conscious effort. It's why you might find someone's positive emotions to be literally contagious. So by displaying more positive emotions yourself, the people around you may start to associate you with feeling happy and end up liking you more. But it's important to note that you can't force emotional contagion. Anything that comes across as fake or insincere may end up just pushing others away. Number five, be warm and competent. Is there a person who you like very much? How would you describe them? If you think about it, most of it may come down to how much you trust and respect that person. Research done by Princeton University psychologists has shown that warmth and competence are directly correlated to trust and respect, respectively. Showing warmth is all about being friendly, while competence comes down to knowledge and confidence. So for the next time you're about to meet someone new, remember to be more friendly and to share what you know, and you'll be a step closer to getting them to like you more. Number six, care about people truthfully. Has anyone ever set aside what they were doing just to help you out? Did you find yourself liking them a bit more? People tend to like and gravitate towards those who show care and kindness to them. When you put aside your own tasks for someone else, you're showing them that you genuinely care about their well-being. However, while it's sometimes good to prioritize the needs of others before your own, it's also important you don't forget to take care of yourself as well. And number seven, have a positive body language. What type of body language do you put out? Do you tend to cross your arms and shrink into yourself? Body language can influence your likability. A positive body language includes smiling to bring about trust, keeping your chin angle down to avoid giving the impression of looking down on people, and keeping your palms up as you're talking to show others that you are open to their opinions. Neuroscience research has even found that smiling gives the brain as much pleasure as 2,000 bars of chocolate or $250,000. So body language cannot be overlooked when trying to be more likable to others. While there are benefits to being liked by others, it's important to remember not to fake your actions. So try to avoid showing positive emotions when you're clearly angry or sad, or to ask questions you already know the answers to. Otherwise, you may run the risk of pushing the people around you away. Did you find any of these tips helpful? Let us know in the comments below. If you find this video helpful, be sure to like and share it with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.